Good day, guys. This is Amos Thar, and welcome to my new series, a mod pack called The Simple Life 2, made by 99 Blocks, which you can see his cartoon picture down there in the corner. I have been umming and ahhing about what to do now that I've finished uploading my modern Skyblock series. It took me a while to finish editing and getting it uploaded due to work commitments and other time related issues, but now it's finally done. Um, so let's get on with this. I have set up a world. It, um, I've just gone in and loaded it up and uh, I haven't done anything yet. But I just want to be quickly be able to load into it. Okay. So we have a bit of a um, lumpy plains area here. Um, you'll notice I'm using a texture pack, which is mine LOL, 64-bit textures. You'll notice the sheep look kind of weird because they have horns. They're very noisy. Run, running in front of me while I'm trying to record, that's not very nice. We have a desert surrounding us. So there may be a desert temple out there somewhere. But uh, yes, the reason the sheep have horns, and you'll find that the pigs are brown and the chickens are yellow, is because they're actually from improving Minecraft. Which forces you, if you want to be able to shear them, or get normal farm tamed animals, you have to breed four generations of them. If I was to try and kill this sheep, and I don't succeed, it will try and kill me. So all the animals, if you hit them, if by accident, they will attack you. That includes the chickens. Right, so. It's not too bad area. If I want to use this area, it's going to require me to do a lot of terraforming. Um, so I'll do some of that off camera. I'll do some of it bit by bit. Now, obviously, the very first thing we need to do is look at one of the main parts of this mod pack, which is the quest book. So if you hit the tilde key next to the one, you actually get the quest book. Now, one of the commands I have, because it starts off in edit mode, unfortunately, is I have to run BQ admin edit to turn that off. Okay, so if we have a look at this, in chapter one, you have to do the quest that will unlock all chapters. So these are all locked at the moment until I do it. So for instance, this one is just a checkbox task. If I claim it, I get a puffer fish. Yay. If I don't cook that right, I'll get poison. No, just kidding. Anyway, um, chapter two is it wants me to get three seeds. So if I probably shouldn't use my sword to do this, but break a whole bunch of grass. I get three seeds. So I can claim a common loot bag, but you'll notice now that over here I've unlocked chapter two. Um, and I have to do each of these to unlock the relevant lines. Okay, so one of the other things I want to do, as far as the, the one of the main chapters I want to unlock is Meryl duties. But for this, I need 16 planks, 16 cobble, any variety, and 4 bread. Well, I have the bread. So I don't want to eat any of the bread. But I need to find some trees. So there's a couple of trees down here. Let's go and punch them. Because that's a smart thing to do. Look, there's a wild pig. Okay. So, I'm going to take my bread, and my bread's very tough. Don't know how I'm going to eat it if it's tough enough to break wood. Uh, let's... Now, unfortunately, we don't have anything like Vein Miner, so I can't exactly punch one log and do the whole tree. I think I need an axe for that anyway. Uh, but, oh. Let's do this quick, and we can set up a couple of other things. So really what I need now is a pickaxe. Um, so here a zombie. I think he's underground. There's a lot of caves under this, apparently. Uh, but I need a pickaxe in order to get the cobblestone that I really, really want. Because I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. 
and no, I'm not going to sing the rest of that song. Okay, so... Make sure I didn't leave any... And I will probably get into Britannia a lot sooner than later, because you need to use Britannia in order to make the Harvest Crafts Gardens in this. So that will help us in Chapter 2. So, let's leave one log. And crafting table to crafting station. Alright. The crafting station will allow us to unlock chapter 4. And will give us all the Tinker's tables. Okay, so now that we have all the Tinker's tables, uh, we're going to... I'm not going to put them out because in order to make a blank pattern we are required to get bone meal which we don't have any of that. Now one plank will give you eight sticks and right now I need a pickaxe. We have a pickaxe. Let's go and find some cobble. Now there is a part of a... Uh, that doesn't look very good. That looks kind of sus, but it's probably safer to dig in here. Okay, so the main one of the main mods in this is uh, underground biomes, and what you'll find is that you get all these different versions of cobble. Um, now, any of these can be converted to normal cobble or you can actually substitute the cobble from most main recipes so a to this uh, quartz or cobble will give you a furnace things like that right now i need 16 cobble or more so let's dig 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 that shouldn't take too long i already got 14. we might just get ourselves 20. I hear that, that skeleton. Okay, we've got 22, let's get two more. There's the mineral duties. Now we need that, because it's not night yet. I don't want to be hitting sheep, because quite frankly, you know, I've got a sword, I don't want to try and kill the sheep. So by doing that, we can claim this quest. Now this quest will give us a supply ship or a supply caravan All right, or a camp um, I want to try and plant the ship so let's claim that okay and now that I have the ship I can try and put it down now I think that this is deep enough over here Let's just see how I go. Yep, there we go. Now out of this we need the building one and the town hall. But mainly the best thing about this having the ship is, is that at night time we can scooch up here and go down to the cabin's quarters and sleep. But what I might do is we've also got a lot of extra beds in here so I might take one of those beds so I don't necessarily have to run back to the ship. Uh, now we could dismantle part of the ship uh, in the future but I quite like the ship so we might just leave it as it is. Um, I'm going to take this chest with me. I really need an axe. with me as well and I'm gonna head up to where we're going to be oh there's a big oh poor sheep he's stuck down there hey mr. sheepy you can get up this way now yeah I let him out so I will be covering in all those holes at some point but let's get our town hall down. Now, if you have a hut in your inventory, 
At the moment I've got the Town Hall, but if I had a couple of them, they would all show up in this list here. Uh, you can choose what style you want, which I want the wooden style. And if you're in the desert, you could choose stand zone, or if you're in a particular different area, you might choose the Mesa, but I like the wooden because I'm in a plains area. And it's always a good idea to choose the highest level so that you can see exactly what this is going to look like when it's finished. Um, you can go around it while it's in this phantom ghost thing and you can see how much space it's going to take up. Which it's a lot, mind you. Um, but I'm going to bring, be bringing everything, hopefully, I'm going to be bringing everything down to this level here except for the town hall and that is actually going to be sitting on this level so let's sink it into the ground and I want to line it up with, with this basically so oh, let's go back this way one and I'm going to have a path in front of it. So I want three. Oops. Okay, so let's just see if that's still in place. Yeah, that's great. I fell into the pond. So that's about where where I want it to be. So that should give me a space, a path of three, and then another two spaces before the edge. So I'll put that down now. Let's grab the bed, stick it down here, and sleep away the night. Okay. Let's put down our crafting station. So that's our steps available. That's a part builder. Um, tool station. Poppy, that's not going to help. Uh, there it is, crafting station. So let's stick that down here for now. No, I don't want you or you. Okay, so the next thing we need to build, we need to build a couple of things. Firstly, let's build another crafting station. Because I like to have more than one. Um, we need to build at least two buildings. Actually, I actually need to build a couple buildings, but right now. The very first one I need to do is I need to build a builder, which is it's a door in the middle of seven planks with the building wand at the top. Right. Now. Um, this will start out, if we go down to here, we need 64 planks to start off with. Um, I better grab these actually. That's 19. I need to grab... Oh, let's make an axe quick. So I should have sticks. And I can take some of these make myself a stone axe and let's go and chop this tree down for here. Now, that gives us nine, which it should uh, give us 55. So we need yet another tree. So there is, unfortunately there's a lack of trees here, but once I plant some of these saplings will be fine. 
But yes, I probably should have done this before I started building my build on because we've had enough then. running around not doing anything because they don't have a job yet okay so that should give us the start of this we get a knife actually which is mm, it will be useful later for decoration town hall let's detect that okay so I need to actually pick this up again don't I Now I can claim that. Uh, and Builder, I can claim that. Now the Citizen's Hut. Um, so I need to place down this town hall again. Okay, it's on level 5. I know whereabouts it needs to go. Um, So let's save. That's two, one, two, three. I might even leave another. Yeah, that might be fine. Okay. So I actually want the builder to go next to the town hall here. Now this corner here is actually the corner. This tape is going to be nothing. So we need to remember that. So we want wooden. We want level five. I need to spin it around. Okay. So that is the right place for this. And what I want is there's going to be a space here, and then we're going to have one. A road of th three. You need to put proper pathways into your colonies, or the colonists take a long time to get to where they need to get to, basically. So if I do it like that, there's a gap, there's a th pathway of three, and then there's another gap. And that should be the right place. There we go. Right, so. Space, one, two, three, space. Now that's not right, is it? Um, no, okay, I messed it up. Let's try it again. Um, oh, I need to select a builder's hut. And I need to be wooden, and I need to be a little five. Okay. Now, what did I do wrong here? So, there's a gap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Gap. No, I should be right. I think I should just, uh... Yep, that is correct now. Right. And... What I want to do is also, um... Oh. I want to build some other buildings really quick. Um... So, one of the things that we need to Later on, it's a citizen's hut. Now, you end up with... You start with four citizens. 
Um, and in order for them, as part of their happiness, to be happy is they need housing. And you can't get five citizens till you house the four that you've got, so I'll have to build at least build a level four citizens hut. Um, to house those four and then they'll have to either build another citizens hut or upgrade to level five, which you, you can't really upgrade anything to level five till you've been to the end because the builder's hut needs to be to level five and it needs purple blocks to get to level five, so it'll probably be a second citizen's hut when I get there. Okay, now the next thing I need is, I actually need a hoe. So, um, oh. let's take the sticks and make a hoe. Um, now, um, don't watch that. We're up to, so there's the citizen site, let's claim that loot bag. The next thing I need to do is make a farm. Now to make a farm, it is planks, building one, and a hoe. So, let's just put Mr. Night Snatcher over there for now. And then we get to the, th the thing that I really want to make, which is, uh, I need, uh, let's, Need an axe because I want a sawmill. And we will take our building one. And I'm actually going to start off here. So, a Sintar Farm sawmill. We want it to be wooden and we want it to be level 5. Now we're going to spin it around, there's the door. So firstly we'll get it in line with this. Which, this doesn't have the corner fence thing, so that is actually the front of the sawmill. And it's at the right level, if we bring it up. That's So what we just need to do is move it sideways. We want another three things here. So there's going to be a gap, a road of three, and another gap. And that might look right, but there's actually a, a planter box here. So that should be correct. One, two, three, gap. So if we hit yes, then I did that wrong. it doesn't line up with the front off. Now the biggest problem here, and I might just be able to get to it under here, no, is it's buried in the dirt here somewhere. This is part of what I'm going to have to actually dig out anyway. right but it's been night time we need to sleep quick oh, can't sleep just yet nearly okay let's try placing this again spin it around So there must be Ah oh, there he is there that's where it is. So for some reason it's saying that that is actually not in line. So we'll move it back one. So gap. 
Yeah. And there we go. And now you can see the tape is actually online and oh, we only have two between it. Oh. Well, what I need to do is if I look at the, the, the way this axe is facing All I actually need to do is put this down facing the same way. And now we should have our three path between it. And what will happen is when I ask the builder to build this, I'll give him a shovel. I'll probably help him dig it all out. I won't do that on camera. I did that with my realistic colony series and I'm not sure how very interesting it is to watch the builder build a building. I'm happy to lay them out. So, uh, get rid of all these blueberries. Give me something to eat because I'm hungry. Right. So, The last thing is, is that we're going to need a, we've got, so we've finished some quests off, let's claim that one, and let's claim that one. So I've finished some quests off, um, we've got storage here as well. We've got uh, three buildings placed down, which is important. Um, Let's put this chest down over here quick, just so that we can put some of this stuff away. Now, I wouldn't advise um, opening these common loot bags. Uh, what you can do with these is you put two, four of them together, you can make it higher, like an uncommon loot bag. So let's quickly have a look what... Uh, What we got in our loot bag. So we got oh, nickel nugget, uranium nugget, we got pulsating iron, some gold, and a clock of nickel. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, another block of nickel. Nickel nugget, steel nugget, constantine, a prism red shard, a lechum nugget, a uranium nugget, and a lechum ingot. And you know, in our uncommon loot bag, we've got an ender pearl. Oh, lots of iron, which is good. I'll just toss that over there for now. And let's have a look what's in this one: nickel, ender pearl, and redstone. That's not a bad haul, really. We could have done a lot worse. Um, well, that iron is good, and the ender pearls, so that will help. Not sure how good the mycelium will be, unless you want to grow mushrooms. Okay, and last thing before I wrap up, so it's not a bad place to set up. We've got our ship and our three buildings here. I'm going to lay out all the trees here, so the lumberjack will just be able to go and get his trees very close to him. Um, we have a astral sorcery fountain over here. I may actually use this area for farms. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, but there will be a lot of terraforming going on. Uh, one thing that is over here though is if we look in the distance over here, there's a village. So let's just go over there quick and have a look. Uh, some sugar cane here. It's not that that's actually any good to us because the yeah, normal paper, paper recipe is not sugar cane anymore. Well, there's lots of clay here. And we've got uh, sand and gravel. So we will have to go into a smeltery soon. Uh, we've got aqua, aquamarine. But yes, let's have a look at this village quick. 
and this will mean that we have some somewhere to get food from. So I couldn't make baked potatoes. Um, oh, carrots. What have we got? We can't get any carrots yet. Gotta stop. We've got to harvest them before these guys. So we might have to. Uh, Grab some and plant them over near our place. Let's grab this engineer's hammer and the iron frame. Because that will open up another quest for us. We can save some materials. Generally, I don't like taking things from villagers, especially on the the server, but I'm in this game by myself, so. These storage crates are always handy. So let's take that. And I do have an axe, so I probably should use that. What else do we get? Oh, more iron. And oh, we got a steel mechanical component. That's good. Now unfortunately there's no smith over here, so there's no no loot to get. As far as a blacksmith goes. Um So we do have villages to trade with. We've got oh, it's a cleric, eighteen coal. Um, we've got a thirteen treated sticks. That wouldn't be hard to get. Um, we've got beetroot. What are you? More coal? Cactus fruit. Oh, we, here we go, we've got some carrots. We should plant those over at our... Oh, to make paper. Paper's harder to make in this pack, so... That may not be a bargain. But we can plant the carrots over near the base. So that's an easy, renewable food source. Oh, raw pork top. We could make you some of those wild pigs. Well, that's about it then. So, as we head back, I might wrap up the episode there. And, you know, it would be really good if you, if you like the video, let me know that you like it. So, Uru, have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.